It's starting to happen. Leaves are beginning to change color. And we just may have seen our last day of temps in the 90s. So we start this week's Explore Tulsa with a big proposal. Then inspiration on the gridiron. Followed by Tulsa shining on the voice. Plus teacher's pet. Hi, I'm Stevie Fernandez. And I'm Trish Whitmer. It is so great to see you back with us this week on Explore Tulsa. Now, Stevie, when you proposed to your wife, you made it a pretty big deal, right? I sure did. It was a sold out crowd at One Oak Field there to see the drillers and the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders. Did your wife, Deanne, have any idea what was going to happen? No, she thought we were there for Explore Tulsa. Wait, what would you have done if she would have said no? I would have asked each of the Cowboy cheerleaders so one of them felt sorry for me. Luckily for Jubal, he didn't have to have a backup plan when he asked the love of his life, Amanda Pressler, to marry him in front of millions on The Voice. Hey, are you guys a couple? Yes. Like, you married? Not yet. Oh, okay. One day. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I, I was a wreck, <laughs> frankly. Um, being on that stage and, and all the preparation that goes into that moment, on top of having my own agenda for the moment, um, I think it had as much to do with the proposal as the performance. Which I didn't know about. And I was like, I was singing on stage and I was like, something's up with him. So if you notice, or if you're watching the clip, I, I kind of went into, you know, I was closing my eyes singing, and then I would go sing, you know, off to the right, because I felt like this energy coming off of him that I didn't recognize before. And we'd been singing together long enough to where I was like, this is weird. So to kind of shield myself and protect myself from whatever was going on with him, I was like, I'm just gonna go over here and kind of be in my little world. And then when I when we do our big note at the end, I'll make sure that you know I'm looking at him to get the phrasing right. But other than that, I gotta go do my own thing over here. We, we met on a online dating website. Hey, it's, it's 20, well at the time, 20, 14. 14. So, I mean, it's, it's just, if you're busy and you're not having any luck and tired of going and hanging out in bars for no good reason, I mean, it's a, it's a viable way to try to find somebody out there that, that you might be able to do life with. And, and I think in both of our cases, our profiles were designed to repel as much as attract. <laughs> And I had very specific things in mine, and I had very specific things I read in hers. I was like, you know, I, 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 I might like this one. We went to Chimmy's on Cherry Street. And because Presler Music is right across the street, I just walked and I made sure I didn't drive my car. I told all my girl neighbors and guy neighbors next door, like, this is where I'm going to be. If I'm not back by this time, you know, all the things that you do to make sure you're safe when you're meeting someone. And then, oh, your story about when you saw me for the first time is this. Well, your, I, your version of it. I had just pulled in the parking lot. Um, I just kind of walked around the back of my truck and I see this little blonde girl walking towards me. At the me. time. At the time. <laughs> walking toward me and I'm just kind of looking at her. I'm thinking it's her. Uh, and she looks at me and she says, Is that you? <laughs> <clears throat> I was dark. I couldn't see it. But it looked like the profile, that picture. And I was kind of trying to squint and look at him at the do in the dark. And I want to say one of the first things we kind of toyed with was a, a duet version of House of the Rising Sun. Yeah. That was one of those nights. Yeah. I mean, we just were hanging out and talking and but, playing songs. And, and then Sweet Home Tennessee was the track that you gave me permission to kind of play with background vocals on. So mm -hmm. that was kind of my audition, if you will. It came so I listened out, to that real it good. It came out nice. Growing up singing with my sisters, um, you know, we, we grow up, we go off and get married and they have two little girls each and um, singing with my siblings just naturally just kind of disappeared. So 
thankfully I had the music school and I was able to put you know my attention and focus and energy on the students um, and I just didn't sing as much with anyone for that matter and and meeting him and being able to merge musically just made my heart so happy in my soul because I, I had someone that that got it and I could connect with um, on so many levels just and um, that's been very special to have that is so cool that they met on an online dating site that's how my wife and I met too we should create a profile for you Trish I like tall guys and walks in the park. Uh, let's hold off on that for a while. Later in the show, we'll learn more about Jubal and Amanda and their experience on The Voice. Till then, we have more inspiration for you that will really pull at your heartstrings. That's right, Stevie. Next up, we'll meet Joe Martell, a high school football player with the Beggs Golden Demons. But what different about Joe is that he was born with a birth defect that would eventually lead to the amputation of the lower part of each of his legs. Just ahead, we'll learn how Joe, his family, team, and community pull together to inspire us all when we come back with Morgs for Tulsa. Ever since the first movie theaters opened in the early 1900s, man has been trying everything to bring that same experience home to enjoy with their families. And for more than 30 years, Video Revolution and their home entertainment experts have been making those dreams come true by designing custom home theater solutions for both in and outdoor use. From 1080p LEDs to the brand new Sony 4K flat panel TVs, or come in to see the latest in sound bars and surround sound setups, always the top name brands are found at Video Revolution. That same electronic expertise we also apply to your business communications network, from boardroom automation to video wall presentations. No matter what technology the future holds, you can count on Video Revolution to be leading the way. Tulsa's headquarters for the best selection and installation of cutting edge electronics. Video Revolution, on the northwest corner of 71st and Lewis. Hello, I'm Andrew Parker with Whistler's Auto Repair, and you're watching Explore Tulsa. Hello, it's good to see that you stayed with us for more Explore Tulsa. And Trish, do you ever have those days when you just don't want to get out of bed early enough to get a workout in? More than I like to admit. But every day, young athletes all over Tulsa area are jumping out of their beds and doing those early morning workouts to take it to the field on Friday nights to bring honor to their alma mater. One of those players puts in a little more than the rest because he takes the field in a way that few could ever imagine. I was born without without a tibia in my bone. And I had my legs and feet, so if they wouldn't amputate my legs, I wouldn't have been able to play football and do none of the stuff that I do today. I'm number 29 on my varsity, and then on my JV, I'm number 72. When, when Joe was born, um, he had a, a, a disease, and it was a muscu musculoskeletal disease, um, and the doctor recommended that they amputate his legs just above the knee, and uh, so, so his parents decided to, to go ahead and go through with that, and that would allowed him to be able to be more mobile and walk. You know, it's, it's, it's one of the things as a parent that you hate to do, but, you know, when you, when you think about it and you look at the long road, the long haul down the road, you know, it's, it was a tough decision to, to make, but we made it and they're, they're, I wouldn't go back and do anything different because, you know, with him being able to, to play sports and, and do things his peer does, his peers do, um, it's very, very satisfying to me as a parent. One day we were sitting around the house and we had some drink koozies uh, and he was we just had him, I don't know, we were at an event or something, and he stuck him on his legs. And when he stuck him on his legs, I believe uh, he knew that they were comfortable and it didn't hurt him. And we just seen him run across the living room. We're like, whoa, what was that? And, uh, you know, from then on is, is when we knew that he was going to be, be able to participate in sports and do different things. I would pick him up, run him out there, or run out there and get him, bring him back. And then uh, it was, I believe it's his second year 
I want him to score a touchdown. So I put him at fullback. It was the fourth quarter. I think there was like two or three minutes left in the game against Mounds. And uh, I set up a we as a special play just for him that we practice over and over and over in practice. And uh, he went in and made the touchdown. Joe plays defensive line for us. Um, you know, we, we're trying to figure out. I, we coaches and I, we, we've dabbled with ideas on how he can either use those prosthetics as an advantage. We've even we've even thought about. And I know Joe's considered playing without them before, um, but but right now he plays defensive line, uh, and and he really does a good job. His his upper body is just so strong. You know, when when he's not on his on, on his prosthetic legs, I know at home a lot uh, he he walks on his hands. We, it was a really cold winter day and we took our players to the our basketball dome and and uh, we ran bleachers that day as our our workout and Joe took his prosthetic legs off and he ran those bleachers on his hands and uh, I mean man it, it it brought it brought tears to my eyes the community's been buying him you know a lot we've done a lot for him and, and he's done a lot for the community I tell you, it's hard. To, it's hard for any of our guys to to complain about having a bad day when they look over and see Joe Martell. He's always got a smile on his face. Uh, he's always working as hard as he can. And uh, and and when one of our kids, you know, feel like they're having a bad day, they look over at Joe and see that smile, see his work ethic. Uh, and man, it really it really motivates and inspires our kids to to give every to give it their all. And that's an awesome thing. You know, every day in life we wake up and we're upset about something or, or you know, having to pay a bill or coming up with money to do this or do that, complaining about something. Everyday life, complaining about an issue. And when I wake up and my son is getting dressed and putting on his prosthetics and not complaining, there's no reason for me to complain at all. When he gets out on the field on on uh, Friday nights or on, on our JV games on, on Monday nights, um, people just, our, our, our bleachers come alive and people just cheer when they see Joe Martell running out. It really just means a lot to the kids in our school. His, his, his story means so much to our community and just who he is, the attitude and his, the effort that he gives really just does a lot for our school, for our kids, for our team, for our community. He is one of a kind. That Joe is amazing. I cut my finger and I'm trying to get out of work for like a week. You are such a baby. But Joe Martell is a special kind of person that will be making big things happen for years to come. To follow the Beggs Golden Demons, visit maxpreps.com or look for beggsfootball.blogspot.com all season long. We are very proud of Joe for making the national spotlight on maxpreps.com. We also have local performers Jubal and Amanda doing the same with their talents on The Voice. Well, that's right, Trish. And just ahead, we'll learn what it's like to take center stage in front of millions when we return with more Explore Tulsa. John Erling with Voices of Oklahoma. Our great state has been home to countless individuals whose place in history has been earned through each of their many accomplishments. Voices of Oklahoma's mission is to preserve their story in an oral history presentation like none other. Accounts direct from famous Oklahomans, political figures, and many others who have left their indelible mark on the development, history, and future of Oklahoma. So please, treat yourself by listening to those who are the Voices of Oklahoma. I want to get a new TV. There's like a thousand different brands, all with different features. I wish I could make sense of it all. What do you think is best? You should go to Video Revolution. Their experts will tell you everything you need to know. They carry the latest LED and 4K TVs and will even install it and set it up for you too. She's right. You wouldn't talk to anyone but your dentist about your bicuspid. So when it comes to home entertainment, only trust the experts at Video Revolution, located on the northwest corner of 71st and Lewis. If you're like me and just know that if you got to sing on The Voice, you'd be the next big star, then you'll be so glad you stuck around for more Explore Tulsa. Luckily, they save that spotlight for people with real talent, like Tulsa's own Jubal and Amanda. As The Voice enters the battle stage, we continue our visit with the Tulsa duo and find out what it's like to be in the spotlight on national TV.
yeah, in the process of watching season eight, we both really came to respect Pharrell a lot. And sort of enjoyed his demeanor, his vibe. He's got kind of that wise, spiritual guru kind of vibe about him. And I think we both responded a lot to that. I mean, I think, obviously, we would have been happy working with any of them. Yeah. When the time came, we had a choice between two, and it was Gwen and Pharrell. And we were already leaning toward Pharrell anyways. Absolutely. I mean, it, the whole process is <clears throat> probably eight or nine months from the beginning of the casting process till the airing of the blind audition. So it, it, it does it's take a journey. A, it takes a minute. It's essentially a, a process of elimination. I mean, once you have your 48 members of the four teams, 12 each, then you're paired off against another team member in a battle. You know, the coach picks which one they think won the battle. And then the, the those knockout. go on to the knockouts and it's another similar situation and they're pairing down their teams. So it's team member against team member. So you go down 16 plus four is 20 and the 20 are who goes to the live rounds. We met with Pharrell and our advisor, Missy Elliott, uh, for her band rehearsal for, for getting ready to gear up with the battles. And uh, it was, it was, it was, it's neat. I mean, you know, you have a lot of Grammys sitting across from you giving you advice and-, and, and playing you know, with the best band in the world. Yeah, I mean, behind you. are amazing. Just, that, what I really love about the whole process and then the, the team that we work with um, is they make sure that you are as prepared as possible and, and that you, um, are cast in the best light. I mean, they they through vocal lessons, through staging, through all of the band rehearsals, through um, working with your coach, in our case, um, Pharrell Williams, I mean, they really do go above and beyond to make sure that you're as polished and, and as comfortable as possible when you're performing. Mm -hmm. So it's really encouraging. I'm with the goals of the bar. I think the voice itself Win or lose is Huge it's an opportunity. It's a, platform. It's a platform. It's a springboard. It's a springboard. It's, it's if you want to use it, it's a launch pad, you know. And 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 I think I think what it comes down to is really how do you use that? How do you use that opportunity? How do you use that introduction to a huge audience to then go from there and continue to you know release music or get into acting or reality television, whatever you want to do with it. I mean, I think there's the possibilities are pretty wide open. It's a beautiful, pure thing, music. Now, when you start getting in the music business, <laughs> it gets a little sideways, and that's always been the source of, of any temptation I've ever had with it, which I've always known is just me talking. I'm not I it's just in my blood. It means a lot to me. I, I, I love it. I love the ability to paint with it, sculpt with it. I mean, it's it's just so many different facets of creativity when it comes to it. Because I mean, not only do you have the actual music, you have the lyrics, and then you have the way you produce the track, and then it just, it's just like this ultimate from the ground up ability to create this thing that then you can go give people and go, hey, listen to this, look what I did. What a wonderful story. I got a pretty good feeling we're gonna see a whole lot more of Jubal and Amanda. And Amanda told me if I took like one or two lessons at Pressler Music, I'd be a better singer. Mmm, wow, then she really is a miracle worker. Look for The Voice on NBC Mondays at 7 and Tuesdays at 8 p.m. You can also visit PresslerMusic.com to learn more about Amanda and JubileeYoung.com to find more of their music and their new album, On a Dark Highway. As a teacher of music, I bet Amanda can appreciate a little special attention from time to time. In the Tulsa area, Chick-fil-A loves to reach out and bring local teachers the VIP backstage treatment. They call it the Teacher Takeover, and we'll get to go into the Teacher's Lounge when we return with more Explore Tulsa. 
Hey, it's Stevie from Explore Tulsa with my friend and optometrist for many years, Dr. Robert Zellner. Tell everybody why it's so good to come in to see you. <laughs> well, that's a great question. Let's see, we've got two great locations. We try to stay cutting edge at every point along the way because let's face it, everybody wants to come in and get taken care of in a timely fashion and get the latest, greatest stuff and save some money and get on with their life. And, see, and see clearly. And if you don't believe it, look on the website. Absolutely, drzellner.com. You can find that we have our two locations at 69th and Memorial and 30, 3030 South Harvard, or you can give us a call at 749-2020 or 461-2020. And I got four kids, and I gotta tell you, as a big family like that, it's affordable too. Oh yes, and of course, the number one reason, you save some money. I mean, with our two pair specials, with our uh, different unique packages that we put together, I mean, you can come in here and your money can go a lot farther than anywhere else. And that's why with Dr. Robert Zellner and Associates, Seeing is believing. Oh, I like that, yeah. Stevie. Well done. <laughs> Throughout our time on Explore Tulsa, we've been behind the scenes of some of the best kept secrets in town, the Haunted Cave House. Ooh, don't forget the downtown Tulsa tunnels. And now, Chick-fil-A takes us where no student has ever gone before, the teacher's lounge. Chick-fil-A also makes sure that our teachers get the best treatment for teacher takeover. True Kathy, uh, the founder of Chick-fil-A, used to always say that you can always tell if someone needs encouragement um, by the fact that they're breathing. And so he said, okay, so let us, um, let's see what we can do to help make those teachers feel appreciated. I think it's special just because they come in and completely make the lounge feel um, special and new and provide food, which is always a treat for the teachers. They don't have to bring a lunch, and it's free for them, and they um, it's a nice surprise. Oh, they love it, uh, because it's, it's one of those, it's no cost to them, it's something that you know we take care of, and, and we pretty much do all the work for it. So uh, um, so they're happy, you know, and they're, um, it's just another way that they can appreciate their teachers and staff, um, and yet we're the ones doing the work. Um, it's usually a great place, um, teachers are, sitting, eating together, visiting about what's been going on in their lives or in their classrooms, sharing ideas, um, lots of laughter, and um, just a fun place for the teachers to kind of get away from their classroom for a little bit. Well, at Chick-fil-A, we like to strive on doing things remarkably. You know, we want to make things that are remarkable, that people will remark about. And um, first of all, I, we do feel that our teachers are remarkable and I think a lot of times they get missed um, for whatever reason. And so we said, you know what, let's go ahead and fill a niche um, out there because we do food, so maybe we can uh, do something with food that will make them feel appreciated. So we've done this for about four years and we do one literally every single month, except for, of course during the summer. Um, it would be a very quiet lunch if we did that during the summer, but uh, for the most part we do it right during the middle of, um, right during the middle of the day, their normal day, and so we don't tell the teachers we're there. Uh, we, we, we talk to the administrators and we just show up and kind of um, do what we call surprise and delight. And we do it once a month. Some of the things that are featured in these meals that you wouldn't necessarily see in the store is we have a new catering item called uh, Chick-fil-A Chilled Grilled. And it's a, it's a grilled sandwich that's served cold that we slice up our, our, our grilled chicken and, um, and it comes on a bun. And so that's part of our new catering options. And so for us, we're always looking to when we have a new item to go ahead and, and hey, let's get it to these teachers. We're already doing this. It's a way for them to know about what we're doing and, um, and just have some fun with it. I have always loved the elementary, the younger kids. I um, just have had a heart for those kids just because I feel like you can um, impact them sometimes when they're early, in the early ages, more so maybe than the upper grades. The upper people might dis disagree with me, but um, the younger grades you can really make an impact with. The way Chick-fil-A is set up with, with the um, local owners is that we are local. And so this is our community as well. And so, um, you know, we have an obligation to do things in the community. Um, but since we are all local owners, we tend to um, structure it to what maybe we may be involved with. So, um, so I have six kids and they all go to U Union. Um, I graduated from Union. My wife graduated from Union. So, um, um, so we started this really out with Union schools. And, um, 
but, but you know, we'll really do it for any school that, you know, if a school has a need and they let us know so we can plan for it, we'll be happy to jump in and then do what we can. Uh, this is my fifth year here at Bovers, and this staff just does an amazing job um, working with our kids, building relationships, and meeting them um, where they're at on their skills and moving them where they need to be. They just, they just want to be appreciated, and I think they need to be. Oh my gosh, Trish. Looking at all that Chick-fil-A food has me so hungry, but I knew that if I took any little bit of it, they're gonna send me right to the principal's office. Well, at least you have your own timeout chair there. With several Tulsa locations, it's easy to find one near you. Just Google Chick-fil-A Tulsa. I love their Eat More Chicken commercials. Those cows are so smart, but they don't spell very well. Maybe they should stay after class. Oh brother, stick around. There's more Explore Tulsa just ahead. Hi, Dr. Robert Zellner here. For over 20 years, I've offered affordable, convenient eye care in Tulsa. Right now, you can get one pair of glasses or contact lenses starting at just $99 or my two-pair deal for $129. Hey, and as always, the eye exam's included. Walk-ins are always welcome. Glasses are ready in about an hour. Plus, we have over 2,000 frames to choose from. We're open seven days a week. Come see why we're voted Tulsa's best. And our drive through at 69th and Memorial makes pickup simple and easy. For the best eye care value in Tulsa, Dr. Robert Zellner & Associates. Hi, I'm Jason Wright with Extreme Racing and Entertainment, and you're watching Explore Tulsa. Hi, I'm Rob Lowe, and I have Direct TV. And I'm peaked in high school, Rob Lowe, and I have cable. Direct TV is wireless, so you can put your TVs anywhere without having to look at those ugly wires and boxes in every room. Cable isn't wireless, but you just gotta put something in front of them. I'm still in awe of how great my TVs look, and I'm still captain of the team. Don't be like this, me. Get your DirecTV upgrade and custom installation today from Video Revolution, your official Tulsa area DirecTV connection. Be sure and join us next week when we learn the secrets to home brew with Desiree Knott at High Gravity. Special thanks to Jubal and Amanda. Good luck with your run on The Voice. Well, thanks too to Joe Martell, his parents, coaches, and the community behind the Begg's Golden Demons. We wish you the best every season. Also, thanks to Chick-fil-A for giving Tulsa teachers such special treatment. Remember, if you miss any of the show, you can always catch us at ExploreTulsa.com. As always, each week we feature the people, places, and attractions that make us proud to call Tulsa our home. Hey, don't forget to like us on Facebook. Share with us someone you think Tulsa should know more about. Plus, remember, Explore Tulsa is brought to you by Video Revolution, located on the northwest corner of 71st and Lewis. Stop by, say hello to Ron and all the guys for your home entertainment needs. And Explore Tulsa is also proudly brought to you by Dr. Robert Zollner and Associates. Home of the two-pair deal starting at just $99 with two locations, 3030 South Harvard and 69th and Memorial. Well, that's all the time we have for you on this week's show. But we'll see you next week right here on Explore Tulsa.